Hello and welcome to this QuickBooks training video. Have a CE on the screen. First thing we're going to cover is having a company open. If you're used to working in Excel or Word or many other Windows applications or other software applications, those applications allow you to have multiple files open at once. And you can switch between files such as in Microsoft Excel you may have several worksheets open at once and you can switch between those worksheets. In QuickBooks you cannot have more than one company open at a time. So if you work with multiple companies, if you're an accountant or if your business um, has different separate companies, you can only have one of these open at a time. Up here in the title bar QuickBooks will show you which company is open. Rock Castle Construction. To move between different companies, you'll simply click on the File pull down menu and you'll come down to Open Company. If you've had any previous companies open, they'll be listed here. Now let's look and see what, what you see on a typical window. Most windows have what's called a drop down list. The drop down list is any field that has a down arrow on the right hand side. You can click on this down arrow and select who you want to write a check to. Let's pay our electric bill. If this isn't who we wanted to cut a check to, come down here and click on it. Many users like to keep their hands on the keyboard and not constantly be reaching over for their mouse. So how can we make the down menu, select, down menu appear without using our mouse? Hold down the Alt key on your keyboard and click on your down arrow. As you'll see there, you need to be in the field that you want the down list to appear. Clicking Alt down arrow again will close the drop down window. The best and most popular way to fill in this field is to type in the name of a company or person that you want to, type, you want to write the check to. Let's type in a vendor. Kirschwin Computer Services. QuickBooks automatically fills in their name for us. Now let's talk about how your work is saved. If you're used to working in Excel or Word or many other applications, anytime you want to save your work, you come up under the File menu and you click on save. You'll notice there's not a save choice in the QuickBooks file menu. Instead, you save your work as you're doing your work. And there are a few different ways that this work is saved. First, using the next button, this saves the check and brings up a new blank check. Previous records the check and brings up a copy of the previous check that was entered. Save and close saves this transaction and closes this window. Save and new saves this transaction and opens up a new blank check for you. QuickBooks also has a clear button. Let's say writing this check was a big mistake. You simply click on the clear button and this clears the screen. If you change information 
that's on an item that's already saved in QuickBooks, you can use the revert button if that change is a mistake. Let's go to a previous check. And let's change this amount from $625 to a little bit more. $62,500. This is a big mistake. Simply come down here and click on the revert button and it re reverts back to the way the transaction was originally saved. And this concludes this QuickBooks training session.